On March 4th, 1929, Herbert Hoover was sitting on top of the world. As he took his oath of office that day to be President of the United States, he could look back on a career path that had curved unbrokenly upward. Born in Iowa in 1874 and orphaned before he was 10, by 1914, Hoover was an internationally acclaimed mining engineer living in London. When World War I broke out that year, he quickly became an international humanitarian hero by creating an unprecedented relief commission that delivered food for more than four years to the entire civilian population of German-occupied Belgium, which was under constant threat of starvation. Belgium was just the beginning. Between 1914 and the early 1920s, Hoover directed, financed, or assisted a multitude of relief endeavors in Europe without parallel in the history of mankind. Tens of millions of people owed their lives to his exertions. It was later said of him that he saved more lives than any other person in history. During the 1920s, the great humanitarian, as he eventually came to be called, ascended still higher on the ladder of public esteem. As Secretary of Commerce in the cabinets of Presidents Harding and Coolidge, Hoover became one of the three or four most influential men in the U.S. government. In certain ways, he was a progressive and reformer. He openly repudiated the doctrine of laissez-faire and advocated some governmental regulation of private enterprise. But he also emphatically rejected old world socialism and outright government direction of business. He called his political philosophy in a book of that title, American Individualism a philosophy grounded in what he called America's most precious social ideal, the ideal of equality of opportunity. 